It's a very old Bing. It's a vertical with a very thick walled boiler. It's uh, quite heavy. It takes quite a while to get up to steam and quite a bit of fuel. Using the original burner, which is a spirits burner, and it's producing quite a bit of heat. As you can see, I have it pulled out just a little bit to offset the flue. But if I open up this door, you can see it's complete with the uh, small meth burner there. It holds quite a bit of fuel. So we'll close that up. And we've got a lot of steam right now, so I had to replace the sight glass uh, b uh, bushings. And what I use is the silicone tubing. I get black silicone tubing, but you can get mostly any color. But slicing thin washers of this silicone tubing because it's so heat resistant, you're able to put washers on your glass tubes up from 3 millimeter to 6 millimeter and use that as your sealing washer. Now I just had a blowout on this, it was getting quite high in pressure. And it's got a lot of pressure right now. But it blew out the top because it had the old rubber black gasket in there uh, against the metal plate. And it blew out quite a bit of steam. Uh, uh, quite a catastrophic failure of the seal there. Now I've got it fixed. I've also put in some uh, cleaning up of the glass backing. So I have a gold backing on the uh, metal plate on the back as it was rusted. And it's quite full right now, so you won't see the water level, but it's right there at the top. If you can see, there's a little bubble there at the top. Anyways, let's get some engine time in here. We'll uh, start up this engine. It's quite a nice bing from my friend Dave here in uh, Canada. And uh, also got the Cosmo from this gentleman. Um, this one didn't need any work at all other than what I said with the uh, sight glass and stuff. And it uh, doesn't need a wick burner anymore. I added a little handle here on the uh, feed to the engine. And there it goes. Very smooth. Excellent engine for running uh, some accessories probably, dynamo maybe. The uh, throttle handle is a bit loose so I might have to o-ring it or something give it some resistance because it doesn't stay on too easily so we'll have to figure something out for that but that's probably a good thing so that we don't run it too long but running really strong here on the meth burner And there goes the handle. Definitely going to have to put an o-ring around that handle so that friction grabs the side here when it's turned up. We're running out of steam now, so we'll turn it down. Not too many leaks, a little bit of a leak around the whistle there. And the uh, safety valve is adjustable, I think. It has a spring and it has its nut, so I'm probably going to be able to tighten that up a bit. But that's the Bing. Quite a nice engine. Nothing too decorative. Don't think I'll be cleaning it up like the others. Maybe clean up the base a bit, but it has the original pinstriping on the base, so I do want to leave that intact and just work around that and uh, get it set up reliably so that it holds pressure. And we'll test and see if it does blow that back seal again but it does seem to be holding up quite well. We're not leaking out of the sight glass at all. So that silicone tubing as washers really, really helps with these old glass sight tubes. But be very careful pulling it out because sometimes the glue or the rubber has actually fused to the tube and it will break when you pull it out. So I've got a pound of sight glass tube coming, so I'll probably be bending up quite a few more. And uh, it really is difficult to get two square ends, I found. I'm going to have to figure out some kind of jig, I think, to be able to do that. But with uh, smaller tubes like this, it's very difficult to find three, four millimeter uh, glass tube for some of these earlier models. So let's turn it on again. Back up a bit here. Definitely hot. And it self-started. 
see if it runs backwards like most of the Plank engines. Only one direction. But that one direction it does quite well. I can see the handle is quite bent. That would be on full right there, I guess. As you can see, it's falling down. And then it'll shut off now. Build up some pressure. I also have to work on freeing up this cap here. I'm not sure the threads are any good and that's why it's have a little blob of solder on there from somebody. But I would like to be able to add oil to the uh, cylinder uh, without having to do it through the back root of the exhaust port. But let's see if we can get it started again with self-start. And there we go. Quite impressive. And I'll get on finishing up that handle so that it stays up when it's on full speed. Let's see how our water level is doing here. Our handle's dropping. of bubbles in it but it's still quite full so the bing there you go folks getting ready for big Christmas hoopla with all the steam engines hopefully we'll have 12 steam engines running at once for Christmas morning and it'll be the 12 steam engines of Christmas and they'll be all classic uh, Christmas toy type steam engines that kids might have received see ya